Um, I like to be with Christ forever because um, being mortal, you, you you are struggling with sin and pain and all the negative things in this world. So I like to be with Christ forever so that I can share the same emotion, feelings and uh, being immortal and live forever with Him. And I'm really looking forward to having all my questions answered that I've never been able to answer before. And I'm really looking forward to in the kingdom to meeting Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, etc. I would really love to <coughs> share it with all the young people out there in the world, being in the kingdom together. In the kingdom, I'm looking forward to meeting disciples of Christ, like all of you watching this, and to be able to give glory to our God in heaven and the kingdom together. I'm looking forward to experiencing a real, true justice of, and of God's righteousness as a judge in the kingdom. And I believe that we will see um, God's creation being restored to very good in the future. I'm looking for an end of dishonesty, an end of selfishness, and an end of corruption in the way that people deal with each other. I'm also really looking forward to the way that Christ, with the glorified saints, will rule in true equity and in true justice. In the kingdom, I'm looking forward to witnessing all the nations come to a realization of the importance of God for all the men as well. Uh, what I look forward to most in the kingdom is living in a different kind of environment where you can be eternally happy. And my vision of the kingdom is um, being able to teach those who need it the word of God and having them respond. And my vision of the kingdom is peace and um, serving God without sin. Two things that I look forward to about being in the kingdom, and uh, one of them is when we will be able to, as Isaiah 40 says, run and not be weary. That's one of my favorite uh, ideas, being able to run, not get tired, run forever. And the second thing is out of Psalm, uh, I can't think, I think it's 150, around Psalm 150, where it says we will fight for Christ, destroying the enemy, and I look forward to fighting for Christ. I actually can't wait to the kingdom, uh, the joy we're going to have, I mean the joy we have now in our churches, in fellowship, with our brothers and sisters, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Firstly I'm really looking forward to the end of suffering because around us, particularly at this time, we have so much suffering going on in the world, um, we just have to look anywhere in the world and people are suffering and it's really hard to believe that it's going to be an end of suffering and obviously I'm really looking forward to that. Secondly. I'm looking forward to spending lots of time with God because I've got so much to talk to him about. And I've just been here in Hyderabad for the CYC and we have had an excellent time with all the young friends, brothers and sisters here. Just makes us, reminds us about the Kingdom of God and just longing to see every one of you there in Australia and to see how all young friends are and I pray that you all grow up towards the kingdom so that we'll all will be standing together holding hand by hand and singing praises to God and just playing and it was so amazing here to see everyone playing it's just people playing with each other but in kingdom we'll have even animals joining us like the kids will be playing with the lions and snakes that will be so great just can't wait for Christ to return and may God encourage each one of you to grow towards the kingdom bye bye Recently we had um, CYC weekend and in that I have learned many things and in that I could say that I am running for the kingdom and I hope you all are running for that. I hope to, uh, that all these young people around the world see the word of God and then I hope ev to see everybody in the kingdom of God. And one thing I'm looking forward to in the kingdom is having everyone that I love and that everyone that I love all together in the kingdom. 
uh, it's been a great time spending uh, spending here in uh, uh, Hyderabad for the CYC where we learned so much about God's wisdom and the importance of wisdom for the kingdom and uh, especially the uh, study given by our sister Felicity and Julia regarding the pearl of treasure which is nothing but the kingdom of God and uh, the amount of sacrifice we've got to give in order to attain that uh, pearl and uh, looking forward to, uh, to see you all there in that kingdom and to share the glory with our master. And remember me, my name is Tej, okay? <laughs>